Happy Monday, everyone. I hope everybody is doing okay. I know we're starting to get a little stir crazy because we're all shut in, right? So I figured um, in between some readings, um, I would go ahead and get the spirit messages out, do some readings, and then um, probably get back on the monthlies tomorrow. Um, let me see. Is there anything else? Let's see. Monthlies tomorrow. I think I got everything covered. I think that's it. Oh, 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 oh. So, somebody was putting some porn videos on my business page, and then they put some in my personal message. Now, Indian porn. I don't even know why. I really don't know why. I should be laughing at it, but I am over here laughing at it. You might have been hacked, because I've reached out to you a couple of times. I'm not sure, but I'm like, Indian porn, come on. You got, you got to chill out. You got, you, you, you don't even look right. You got to chill out. I mean, I'm not going to critique your porn preference. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. And I'm hoping that you have been hacked. But you got, or either you got to be more creative. If you're going to keep doing it, you got to get more creative. You got to, you just got to stop with that. Maybe add something else to the repertoire. I don't know. But if, if you want to send it in the personal messages, okay. But the business page, no, 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 no. I actually have people on there that, you know, that kind of stuff upsets them. They don't want to see that. So, you know, let's be respectful on the business page if you can. I mean, you just, I mean, I know we, we at home, we stuck in, you know, maybe your mind isn't acting right. You know, maybe you got some type of fetish thing going on with Indian porn and you just wanted to share it with me or whatever that could have been in a private message but not on the business page all right so to address that because i know I, I mean i've been getting some crazy stuff on the lives i've been seeing some st crazy stuff come across social media so i know some people flipping out i know they losing it and you know i can i, I could be understanding and forgiving of that i really can and i'm a very open-minded person not a whole lot shocks me but you know for some of my my and I'm not even going to say older, because, I mean, I got some old porn heads on my business page. But I'm pretty sure that they don't, you know, they're going for readings. They're not expecting to see booty and, you know, slapping stuff on the business page, you guys. So, y'all got to chill out. All right? We got to be good. <laughs> we need to. If you flipping out, flip out on somebody that you know wants to see it. You know, send it to the to your crush. To your, No, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't jump in the DM and PMs and send that to your crush be honest i don't know what the fuck is going on but you probably just need to chill out i know you're bored i know you are you ain't got nothing else to do the thing about porn is you're supposed to look at porn at home and do whatever you need to do with the porn while you're looking at it i don't know about sharing porn is that a thing that may be your thing i don't know but you i don't think you're really supposed to share i guess unless you have something good that you want to send out to other people but i mean not on the business page so let's get into these because <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to figure this out. But I think it, I, I just think it's just like it's over my head. It's over my head right now. So let's get into the messages um, one through six. And, you know, ask your spirits, your God, your deity, whoever you work with, what is the message for you? And we're going to get into it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, spirit. Messages for the people messages for the people don't send porn on business pages <laughs> i'm so sorry okay let me get my head right you guys i'm telling you this quarantine stuff is making us all flip out ah jeez messages aren't we almost getting the same type of message from last week and it could be because we're not doing shit right we're not moving around so maybe the energy is stagnant for some of us, um, we're just kind of stuck on a routine. You know, wake up, eat breakfast, and look at Netflix all day. I do feel creativity from a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people are going to birth a business out of this or either birth a baby. Something's coming. Something's coming. Messages for the people. What flipped over on this other side. All right. Oh, they're doing a flip. Uh, all righty. Let's see. 
Jeez. Hold up cards. Hold up. All right. Two more messages, Spirit. Two more messages from my people. Ooh. I got to get quick hand over here. Oh, that's good. That is good. One more. One more card, Spirit. Messages for my people. Mm, there we go. All righty. Let's get into it. Let me see if I got everything situated. Oh, uh, you know what? Let me clarify number one. Let me clarify number one. What is this person doing? All right. Thank you, Spirit. Card number one. Card number one, we got the goddamn evil eye again. We have Psychic Seer. Now, I think this show last week for the messages, this could even pertain to me because it keeps coming out. But I feel really for a lot of us, it's because energy is stagnant. We're not really doing anything. Like I said, the routine seems to be the same. So some of us are kind of stuck in this energy. Don't worry, y'all. In two months, it feels like it's going to move forward. But it looks like it's going to be at least two more months before it does start to move forward. So we got the evil eye. We got Psychic Seer. Some of you could be gifted. You could be clairvoyant, you could be clairaudient, you could be uh, proficient in all the clairs. But you may have somebody that is feeling a little bit threatened by you or they are not connecting with you or they don't like you because they're sending you the evil eye. So we got somebody and we got the evil eye coming behind your back. So for some of you, this person is not even being um, forward with it. You know, they being a little sneaky. So this could be somebody watching your social media, um, kind of checking in on you, could be talking to people that you know. This person could be um, trying to get pictures off of your Facebook or your Instagram or whatever because they could be doing some work or trying to do some work. So for some of you, you may have to watch your back, especially if you're very sensitive. You might be picking up on it. You might be seeing this person in your dream. Like I had a dream last night that somebody was trying to work on me and I was like, no, not this person. But now it's making me look at them a little bit different because they have pulled back. So for some of you, you may be getting some type of confirmation from spirit. You may be getting some type of dream. You may even hear the person's name because it is showing that you are very gifted. You are a seer. So maybe you even know who this person is. Um, it is showing that there is some negative energy coming from this person. Now, normally with the evil eye, this is jealousy. It's envy. Somebody doesn't want to see you uh, succeed. So they could be trying to send this energy, this heavy energy to you. So I would definitely say if you feel that, do your cleanses, work with your spirits, um, say your prayers. Um, if you're very religious, you know, pray. The power of prayer is, 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 is powerful. So for some of you, I definitely feel like you may be kind of going into seeing what can you do because it could be a spiritual attack. Some of you may be feeling like a spiritual attack is happening. The energy is shifting around us. Um, a lot of people are feeling really negative right now. You know, they're feeling heavy. Bills are being done. So people are vulnerable and you're going to have a lot of people that are going to take advantage of this. They're going to try to hit you while you're vulnerable. Now, it is what it is. If it's not spell work, for some of you, you just have somebody who's just like, I don't like you. I don't like you. I don't want to see you succeed. You know, they all up in your social media, uh, you know, looking at you, you know, sending bad vibes because they, they, that's the way they feel against you. So there's envy and jealousy with card number one. Watch your back. Definitely. You have somebody who looks like they could be trying to do you dirty. So right now we're not congregating with people, but we're online and we're talking to people. Pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to the vibes that these people give you. For some of you, you're going to realize that you're going to have to step back from this person because they are not, you know, giving you anything positive. They don't want anything positive to happen for you. All right. So card number two, we got loss of money, need to budget, mental confusion, and conflict. I guarantee you this is me arguing with fucking Xfinity about a goddamn bill. Like, I ain't got no money. I don't have all the money y'all trying to get to get me to pay for this goddamn bill. 
I'm a little bit confused how my goddamn bill got that high. And this is them having security escort me out the building. It's it's becoming a routine with me in Xfinity. It's becoming a routine. We I don't I, and they are monopoly over here. There's nobody else, so it's like okay, you got to deal with me. I got to deal with you. But for some of you, this literally could be dealing with a bill. This could be you could be having issues because we got a loss of money. Some of you may be even having some confusion about how am I going to pay some of this stuff that's coming up. And you could be dealing with talking to representatives because right now everybody's in a funky mood. They don't even want to hear it. They really don't. Some of them not even answering the phone at the call centers because they don't even want to hear it. Some of them are working from home. They playing with their kids, their dogs. They're like, fuck you, fuck your bill, send the money in. So some of you might be having this energy. Now, won't all apply to bills, but it is showing we are worried about money. We are having breakdowns, meltdowns about money. This is not a really easy time. You know, this thing has been extended until April 30th. My daughter was saying, I think Virginia was June, um, if that's true. So for some of us, we're really kind of going back and forth. We could be arguing with landlords. We could be arguing with mortgage companies. We could be arguing with, um, you know, little trinket, little bills, because they're still coming in. Nobody's giving breaks. Well, I'm not going to say nobody, because some people I see on Facebook are getting breaks. But for some of us, this could be issues, argument about money. It looks like frustration about money, arguments about money. This could even be within a household. Maybe we got multiple people in there and somebody's like, I bought groceries last week. Now you got to buy groceries. I feel like a lot of people are really trying to budget this money, you know, trying to make this dollar stretch. You know, we doing beans and rice, cornbread, you know, shit you can eat for two or three days. You know, it's hard with a vegan over here because she has to keep buying fresh vegetables and shit. And it's like, okay, you know, and you got to eat the shit before it starts to turn bad. So it's like either you don't, if you don't eat it, then it's money wasted. We ain't got money to waste, right? So for some of you, you could be even talking to somebody in your family where it's like, okay, we don't have this to waste. I definitely feel arguments about money, worry about money. For some of you, this could even be going to court or having some kind of court case because I feel there's a legal situation with this too. Um, there could be child support issues, eviction issues, um, something that was turned off that maybe didn't need to be turned off. And I thought right now they're not supposed to be turning off bills, but you're going to always have an issue with somebody that won't follow rules. So for some of you, definitely mental confusion, arguments, and it looks the same about finances. Um, the money is going out and nothing's coming in. They got all this money flying around and it looks like it could be going out the window or wherever it's going, but it's not going in the bank account where it needs to go to pay the stuff. And we're a little bit confused. We're getting frustrated. We're irritated and it's leading to conflicts. All right. Card number two is... It, uh, I feel you. It's Xfinity. I feel you. I feel you. Haven't even got the light bill yet. Haven't got the light bill. So I'm kind of like, oh my God, between Xfinity and the light bill. Oh, fuck my life. <sighs> but it is what it is. We got to do what we got to do. Card number three. Card number three, showing the spiritual cleanse is needed. Clarity. So for some of you, you may be a little bit foggy in the head. You may be feeling a little bit out of the loop. I mean, I don't even know what day it is. You know, I'm just kind of going on with whatever it is. We wake up, we do it. We wake up, we do it. So for some of you, if you feel like you've been a little bit kind of, you, your clarity has been off, you're, you're, you can't think straight, you're having a hard time focused, you could have some bad energy on you, negative energy on you. You may need to go ahead and do a cleanse. When we look at these candles, these candles are black which is not a good sign. This is energy that is burning off and there could be conflict. So for a few of you, you may even be noticing, I don't feel good. And I'm not talking about in the physical sense of like a cold or Corona. This could be just like, I'm tired. I feel drained. Um, we got a lot of depression that's going on right now. So for some of you, you definitely need prayer, meditation, um, spiritual cleanses, things that open up your mind that give you some type of clarity. For a few of you, it looks like you definitely are going to get it, especially if you're dealing with something that's really, really heavy. So don't be afraid to go ahead and get you coffee is a real good um, spiritual cleanse. Um, it's really easy. You know, you can even brew a cup of coffee, add it to your bath water or add it to a bowl, put a little sea salt in there, take a shower, you know, wash yourself with it. Florida water is really good if you just want to add that to some um, bath water. For some people, if you have bay leaves or basils at home, rosemary is really good. Um, if you want to use up some milk, you can make you a white bath. 
there's a lot of different recipes online but if you just want something simple i would probably say coffee i would kind of put a little cap full of ammonia in it and then bathe with it that way but you do what works for you listen to your ancestors on what you need to do because they're going to come through and tell you what recipes that work for them because they're your blood your lineage so if you hear a recipe try it out but definitely clarity coming in with card number three and it looks like coming out of this funk all right card number four we got manipulation somebody you know trying to pull your strings manipulate you into doing something that maybe you don't want to do this could be somebody that's just playing games with you or they're trying to fake you out now for some of you this could be somebody who's trying to get over on you this could even be somebody in the family where it's like okay i cooked you know monday through wednesday now i need you to go ahead and cook or either you know i'm doing things in the house and you're just sitting up there looking at tv you're not helping me and this person may be just trying to you know fake the funk they could be trying to manipulate make sure that you're not putting out more energy than you're getting back because i get with this card this is something that's not being reciprocated like you know you're you're taking my energy but you're not giving me anything or either somebody is you know calling up and telling you i only got two rolls of toilet paper i know you got a big old you know bundle over there can you you know bring me some toilet paper and they already have some maybe they just don't want to go out or you know they don't want to run out so they're going to try to use you so be really careful if somebody's calling you for groceries and things like that and you're like okay you know what i've already helped you but i feel like this is somebody who's trying to manipulate they're trying to get their way they're trying to get over on you so you got to kind of raise your head up you need to get this clarity you need to be able to see things straight because it's showing that somebody is running you like a puppet or at least they think they are maybe you even know you're being manipulated but I will say cut ties, cut the strings. If you feel like somebody is getting on your last nerve and they're trying to make you do things that you don't want to do, cut the strings with them. Especially if you can see it. If you're, if you're getting some type of clarity. Say you were in this funk. Let's go through. And then I'm going to go through the other cards. We got this evil eye. Somebody's giving you the evil eye. There's jealousy. This energy is sitting on top of you. Your candles and everything are black or your energy is a little bit drained. And you're manipulated. You feel manipulated. You feel like somebody's trying to play you. Well, we got seeing things clearly. So for some of you, that may be the energy that you're dealing with. And you could even be having conflict with somebody that is causing this mental confusion. And that's why you feel like you need to see things clearly. We got the spiritual cleanse thing coming through. What Maybe you need that. So this could be, for some, a spiritual attack or somebody who's trying to attack you in the spiritual like, okay, let's cleanse. Let's make ourselves feel better so that we can see things and we can move forward. All right. Card number five. Now we have success. Maybe for some of you, you are moving towards success. This is being in front of the camera. You could be putting YouTube videos out, Instagram, Facebook. You could be on Twitter. Maybe you're getting some type of following. People are recognizing you. And I think we're going to see a lot of people who become like social media influencers that are, are coming out of this time and it's because now they're realizing man i got something i can share or i got something that i can teach or i have something that i am very creative with that i can put out there so some of you may inadvertently in this in this quarantine actually start a business where you're putting yourself in a in a limelight where people are seeing you they're going to be looking at your your page your stuff maybe um you didn't realize that you were funny and people are coming to your page because you make them laugh or either you're very knowledgeable and you're teaching people things. Who would I have? T and Tarot, Saturday I had my sister Mamba Tessa on. And um, she's an herbalist and she just went ham. <laughs> she just went ham. I mean, I sat there and it was like it was a class. I mean, respiratory herbs, immune system herbs. It was just freaking crazy. And she doesn't really put herself out there like that all the time. But literally, this was her. This was her. This was success. This was being put in the limelight and actually really rising to the to the um to the challenge of it and killing it killing it in a big way so for some of you you are putting yourself out there you may be getting some type of news that there's some positive things that are coming in for you maybe somebody um is checking out your pages and they want to sponsor you or they want to promote but it does show putting yourself in the limelight building up a business maybe you're building a brand something that brings in some type of financial gain for you definitely shows you being put in a way where you're kind of like you know i'm out here you know i'm doing my thing just like the spotlight is on me right now 
some of you are really kind of putting yourself out there and saying you know what this is what i do and i'm realizing that i do it well congratulations card number five Card number six. Now we got body changes, could be losing weight. Some of you may be having issues with the stomach. I think we saw this last time, card number six. So for some of you, you may be concerned about something with stomach. Um, you may be working on your stomach, trying to do some sit-ups. Some of you literally are going to find out that you're pregnant because we got the pregnancy card and then we got body image, which means that there's something that's changing in your body. Either it's going to get bigger, and if it's already bigger, it's going to get smaller. So there is... I feel like um, either way, if the stomach is flat, it's going to grow. If the stomach is big, it's going to reduce. There's a reduction. So this could be surgery, taking something away. Now, for a lot of you, you're probably going to get delays on surgery. I know a lot of my friends that were supposed to be scheduled for, for things last month and this month, are, they're being pushed back. Um, and it's because, of course, Corona is the, prior, the priority. We, you know, we got to take care of the sick people. We got to, you know, make room. And a lot of them don't want you to get sick, so they don't even want to expose you. And it's a good thing if you don't have to go to a hospital right now. It's a really good thing. So for some of you, I feel like there could be some changes that are going to be coming through, um, but it may be some delays with it. Maybe some of you are taking this time to really work out, and it's showing at a slow pace. But you know what they say, if you take your time, it actually you're going to get longevity with the results of it. For a few of you, if you were trying to get something cut, um, even if you are pregnant and say you are going into labor, I feel like there's something that's going to be removed. Um, if you are going into labor, of course, I mean, you know, it is what it is. You got to go to the hospital. I feel like for some of you, if this is not a baby, um, I think one of my sisters was talking about a hernia, something being removed. But I'm getting delays and then something follows through and you get something that you want or you get the outcome that you want. So like I said, for a few of you, if you're having issues, could be scheduling surgery, being prepared for surgery. Some of you may have had something already in the works and you had to get it um, postponed. If not, this is working out. This is like taking some time. Maybe, you know, you know, like my sister just called me about getting bikes and, you know, riding the trail early, early in the morning. And I was kind of like, yeah, let me get back to you on that. Because, uh... You know, I've been having this love affair with these Oreos. I'm not sure I'm ready to give up on them yet. Right, We're going to have to see. But for some, this may be, you know, I'm changing my diet. I'm going to be stuck in the house for a whole nother freaking month. So I might as well get down here and do some crunches, do some sit-ups, um, work on this. I do get exercise, and even though I don't see the workout card, but I feel like whatever it is, it could have to do with midsection. Now, for a few people, I am getting some type of blockage, constipation, um, gas. Some of you may be more gassier than um, than regular. Uh, this could be nerves. I mean, maybe you are eating something that is in your house that could be causing that reaction. Um, maybe you're lactate um, intolerant. Milk creates a lot of mucus, so I wouldn't deal with milk right now, especially when we're dealing with trying to clear mucus out the body. But for some of you, you could be eating um, ice cream or cereal or eating something... Um, that is making you bloated that's giving you or drinking too much soda so i feel like you may be pulling away from that if you're getting this 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 increase or this pressure i feel like some of you may be pulling away from it some of you i think you're gonna have to do a laxative because i'm just getting something is really really blocked it could be your colon um you may be feeling uncomfortable maybe we're just sitting around here snacking and we just kind of feel impacted so you may be taking some type of warm tea or using some herbs um to kind of you know move things on make them you know flow it's the best way i can say it whatever it is though i feel like when this is done you're going to feel better card number six so if you're taking something away um or if you're exercising you're going to feel better at the end of whatever this journey is delays but temporary whatever it is it looks like you're still going to get it done you're still going to be on point Looks like it's still going to happen this year. So, you know, I mean, of course, it is what it is. We got to go with it. But be patient. Be patient. Don't stress yourself out. If you're eating something that's making you bloated or you feel like your body is reacting to something, kind of look around your house. What are you chewing on? What are you drinking that could be causing some type of reaction? Some of us are eating foods that we haven't eaten before because, you know, we got things in the house and we're like mixing and moxing. So pay attention to what you eat and how you feel afterwards. 
Um, but I definitely get for some people constipation. All right, you guys. I hope that helps. Do your spiritual cleanses. Keep your prayers up. Stay in. Social distancing. Be safe. All right. Love you guys.